So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the Money in the Bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. That's not the way I want to win my matches. Well, then you shouldn't have won the Money in the Bank match, because that's how the briefcase works. You're proving my point. I said I didn't want to win that way. Not that I couldn't. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Okay, that's ridiculous. I'm not playing your games. Fine, but I'm not cashing in this contract with the partner I don't trust to get the job done. We'll have this conversation again later. If it isn't Miss Sneaky, I would say I didn't see you coming, but I totally did. Feel like showing me you're more than just a goody two-shoes by proving you can play dirty? Fine. But only because I want to get this cash in on the road. Not because I need to prove myself to you. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official. Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the insurgent rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little more swagger in their step after that thrilling tag team Money in the Bank victory. And let me tell you, I'm digging it. She's enduring some damage. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. And Shotzi didn't see that coming. Oh, my God. DDT! Lights out. Fantastic. Standing shooting star press and 
incredible. Shotzi is really falling behind. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. And she breaks the count. She is still in this fight. And off, there's the reversal. Nice handspring evasion. Kick. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. Yeah, she's really keeping her opponent contained. for something in the corner. Shotzi with the retaliation. Shotzi might be able to start mounting something here. Maybe Shotzi's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Uh-oh. Way too oh, 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 oh. When officiating, as the rep noticed, she was on the ropes. Taking hold of Shotzi here. Face plant. Just a continuous rush on Shotzi here. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. Up high. Oh, she certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Ah, oh, Shotzi. Take. One step ahead of Shotzi there. A counter answered by another counter. These two having an answer for everything. now see i can be surprising i don't have to always play by the book the apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are i just wanted her to know i didn't have anything against her i did what you asked so let's figure out this cash in fine i've got to head out now but get your lame thoughts in order and we'll talk about it next week ah you're the worst
The red hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a no disqualification match? Bring on the chaos. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. Oh boy, to the announce table now. Oh yeah, gonna clean it off here, this is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Boom! And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Kendo stick to the skull! Shotzi is being taken apart here. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. Dangerous intentions in her mind right now. There's no crying in baseball, gentlemen, but finding yourself on the receiving end of that bat might tell a different story. Just caught flush. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxon's a very fragile boy. She responds with a counter. And this match will head back to the ring. Oh, here we go. No. Nope. Fake me out again. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Taking this to the floor. Oh. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? <laughs> and she had Shotzi's number there. Kick hits the mark. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Oh! Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Why would she grab a stop sign? And how'd she even know it was there? There's the reversal. Nice handspring evasion. Kick. That offense really hitting her hard. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Ooh. Change. She got launched. Uh. And no countouts means she has the whole outside to play with. Timing with that reversal. She's staying elusive. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Cuts off their offense. Swift elbow to the gut. Coming in hot. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Shotzi able to avoid impact. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. She's getting something from under the ring. And it looks like she has swift justice in mind going for the kendo stick like that. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. A steel chair. She's taking this match. We're seeing the 
the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Look at it capitalize. She got the win. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase. <sighs> that was unexpected. You defending me in the ring? It certainly was. I was talking about Raquel. We're tag team partners. It's not like I don't like you. You have literally told me before that you don't like me, Ava. Fair point. But I didn't know you. You were just some new girl coming in to take my spot. I wasn't trying to take anyone's spot. I was trying to start my career. Sure. But your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me, and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? <laughs> it certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kind of mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other. Which is actually a good thing if we're going to work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of... Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I do not. Well, this is not great. <laughs>